Hey guys, what is going on? Here it is, my Super Bowl 56 prediction video, my Super Bowl, my 2022 Super Bowl prediction video, because honestly, I don't really know how to read Roman numerals well, so I kind of just say like Super Bowl for the 2022 year because it's technically the 2021 season. Okay, whatever. Let's talk about this matchup because we've got two really fun teams in this game. I feel like this is a really feel-good matchup. Like, whoever wins, you're going to be happy. Like, it's going to be like, yay, good vibes. So first, we got the Cincinnati Bengals, who no one expected them to be in the Super Bowl, let alone, you know, the playoffs. Like, no one expected them to make the playoffs. No one expected them to literally make the Super Bowl. I can't remember the last time a team, you know, shocked the world and made the Super Bowl in this much of a, you know, shocking way. Like, when was the last time a team that a lot of people didn't expect to even have a winning record make the Super Bowl? Like, I don't I don't remember that last time. I've been watching football for probably, like, 10 years since I was 12 is when I really started to understand it. I'm 22 now. That's obviously not a huge, you know, time frame right there. But I can't remember the last team that shocked the world the way the Bengals have this season. And then we have the Rams, who I actually predicted to make the Super Bowl in my preseason uh, playoff prediction video. So so I guess you could say I knew this was going to happen. I mean, not to flex, but like, you know, you guess I, I guess you could say I did. I did know this was going to happen. Like, not a big deal. Not to, not to pat myself on the back there. But like I said, this is, this is a really fun matchup because you have Matt Stafford on the Rams. The Rams just traded for Matt Stafford this past offseason. He was in Detroit for all those years playing for the Lions. Never got that playoff win. He gets his first playoff win this year with the Rams. And look, now he's going to the Super Bowl. He's got a, he put together a, a handful of playoff wins to lead this team uh, to the Super Bowl. And here they are in the Super Bowl. And he might get his first playoff win and he might get his first Super Bowl win in the same offseason. And what I really like in the same playoff season, sorry, I don't know why I said offseason, but what I really like about this Rams team and why I feel like you got to give them a lot of respect, is they went all in on winning the Super Bowl this year. Like, they made the moves to win the Super Bowl this season. They realized Jared Goff was probably not going to take them to, you know, a Super Bowl victory. He did take them to the playoffs a couple years ago, but they realized, okay, we need to have a better quarterback here. So they went out and they traded for Matt Stafford. They weren't afraid to trade those picks, which is what you got to do if you're really serious about winning. You can't hold on to those picks because those picks, you don't know what those picks are going to, you know, B and you gotta you gotta make the move when the player is there. And that's what they did. They went out, they traded for Matt Stafford. They also went out and traded for Von Miller. Like they made the moves they needed to make to make a Super Bowl run. They did not hold on to their picks. They were not conservative and oh, we don't want to trade our first round pick. Oh no, no. They said, no, sure, have our picks because we are winning it this season. This is this is what we're gonna do. And I have a lot of respect for them for, you know, trading all those picks and being all in on winning it this year. Then for the Bengals, like I mentioned, no one expected them to be here at all. Like that's that's just fun in itself. They got their first playoff win in like forever uh, this year. And Joe Burr, Joe Burr coming back from a serious ACL tear. People were questioning if he was going to be ready week one, like if he was going to be 100% week one during this offseason, during training camp and all that. And he is the comeback player of the year, in my opinion. He has played outstanding, even though this offensive line hasn't really played well. He has just taken the hits and continued to deliver, make the throws. Him and Jamar, insane to watch this season. And the last time the Bengals made the Super Bowl was 1989. So you got to be happy for those Bengals fans because they have been waiting for this. So many Bengals fans weren't even born yet. Like, so many Bengals fans weren't even born the last time this made this team made the Super Bowl. So you got you to feel happy for those fans because... They have most definitely been patiently waiting for this moment. And real quick, before we get into the X's and O's of this game, I just want to say this is the second year in a row and the second time ever that the home stadium has a team playing in the Super Bowl. Last year, it was the Buccaneers obviously playing in Tampa. They won that game, obviously. But it's weird because the Bengals are technically the home team. Like, even though the Rams are playing in their in their home stadium, record-wise and, like, seating, seating-wise, sorry, not record-wise, seating-wise, the Bengals are technically the home team. So the Rams are going to be playing in their home stadium as the away team, which is kind of crazy. And it's kind of crazy that this is the second time it's happening, and it's the second year in a row. Like, what is what is the streak we're on here with teams finally getting to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium? I want to let you guys know that today's video is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. And they have a huge offer for this weekend's big game 
All new customers can get 56 to 1 odds on either football team to win this weekend. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team is victorious. That's right. Bet just $5 on either team to win the big game this weekend and DraftKings Sportsbook will give all new customers an additional $280 in free bets if their team wins the game. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, you still have something to play for this weekend. Everyone can play for their share of millions of dollars in total prizes with the DraftKings Daily Fantasy Football Contest. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code SHEGOTSPORTS and get 56 to 1 odds on this weekend's big game. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team wins. That's promo code SHEGOTSPORTS at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Okay, so now let's actually get into the X's and O's of this game. So the Rams are favored to win this game. They are the favorite coming in to this game. And I think you can definitely say that this team is the better team on paper. When you look at this team on paper, it looks like they have more talent than the Bengals. I mean, especially this defense. This defense has Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Fawn Miller, Leonard Floyd. Like that defense is insane, the players that they have on that team. But we know just because a team is better on paper, it doesn't mean that they are a lock to win. We know football is so much about momentum. Momentum is a huge thing in football. And look at the teams that the Bengals have beat this postseason. You couldn't really say they were better than those other teams on paper. I don't think you could say the Bengals were better than the Chiefs on paper. I don't think anyone would say that. But the Rams do have a really, 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 really big advantage in this game. And that is their D-line. Their very, very good D-line going up against a very, very bad Bengals O-line. And we saw this last year in the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes was just under so much duress versus that Tampa D-line. And you could say that's why the Chiefs lost that game. Because Mahomes had no time to throw the ball. Like, the offense couldn't get going because you can't throw the ball if you're laying on the ground. You know what I'm saying? We, we saw how much an offensive line can impact a quarterback last season in the Super Bowl. This Bengals O-line gave up the third of those sacks in the league this past regular season, giving up 55 sacks. On the other hand, this Rams defense had the third most sacks in the league with 50. So that's not the matchup you want if you're the Bengals. You, you are not happy looking at that stat. Joe Burrow was looking at, looking at that stat and he's like, oh no. He's getting flashbacks to the Titans game looking at, looking at those stats. But the Bengals can try to counter this, can try. I'm saying can try because Aaron Donald, Von Miller, Leonard Floyd, it's like anywhere on that D-line. It doesn't matter where you move. You're going you're gonna to be under pressure. But the Bengals definitely need to have a game plan where Joe Burrow is not just dropping back in the pocket a ton. He cannot afford to just drop back in the pocket and stand there because Aaron Donald is just going to plow through that O-line and just sack Joe Burrow consistently. They need to have some bootlegs in that game plan and just design plays where Joe Burrow is getting out of the pocket. I think we're going to see a lot of play action. I don't know how well the Bengals are going to be able to run the ball versus Rams D-line. I don't know if it's going to be great, but Joe Burrow needs to be rolling out of the pocket a ton. Also, if you want to do some end arounds and reverses with Jamar Chase, try to get some stuff going where you're just kind of working the edge of the field, you got to do that because the middle, the middle of this defense is just going to just stop everything this Bengals team tries to do. And I just... I can just see Aaron Donald running up the middle and sacking Joe Burrow multiple, multiple times in this game, just pushing that the O lineman on their butt, just pushing them on their butt and just being like, come here, Joe, <laughs> sack. Um, the good news for the Bengals, though, is this. They have shown they can win, even with Burrow getting sacked a ton. He was sacked nine times in that Titans game, and they still got the win somehow. I'm sure Joe Burrow didn't enjoy that, but somehow they still got the win. Also... This O line did improve their stats from the Chiefs game to the from the Chiefs from the Titans game to the Chiefs game. Sorry, I worded that wrong. So in the Titans game, like I said, they gave up nine sacks, but then next week versus the Chiefs, they only give up one sack. Yes, the Titans D line is way better than the Chiefs O line uh, than the Chiefs D line, but it's still a really really big improvement. Like you you are happy to see that Joe Burrow was only sacked one time. I mean that Chiefs D line is still good. You know what I'm saying? That Chiefs D line. Definitely still a good D-line. Not as good as the Titans, but I think it's 
pretty pretty impressive that they only gave up one sack considering how bad they played versus the Titans. Also, Joe Burrow was definitely getting out of the pocket in that game when pressure came. Pressure came, Joe Burrow was rolling out. He was outrunning defenders. Defenders were trying to chase him down. He was outrunning them. It was like he had eyes in the back of his head at one point because defenders were diving to tackle him by the ankles and, and Joe Burrow would just lift his ankles up do a little high step and avoid it. Really, really good avoiding the tackle stuff. Really good avoiding the sack stuff by Joe Burrow in that Chiefs game. He was just he was just being a, a real playmaker in that game. Pretty impressive stuff. He's definitely going to have to do that versus the Rams. He's definitely going to have to be rolling out of the pocket, doing some high stepping, maybe maybe doing some little juke moves because he's going to... He's going to be running a lot, I think, in this game. Even though this O-line has been playing so, so bad, Joe Burrow and this offense have just continued to perform and put up the points they need to to win games. I just feel like this offense has this confidence, this swagger. They are definitely hot right now. They are on a hot streak. This team is just carrying a ton of momentum, in my opinion. They they are just on this streak where they're like, all right, we can, we can, we can beat any team. We've showed you guys in the past few games, we can beat any team. We just beat the Chiefs twice in a few weeks. Like that's really impressive. For the Rams, their offense has been playing really well this postseason too. It's been really, really hard for teams to stop both Cooper Cup and Odell Beckham Jr. Like you can't shut both those guys down. You just can't. It's almost impossible. In the NFC Championship game, both those wide receivers had over 100 receiving yards. The 49ers really could just not shut down both those guys. The way the Bengals were able to slow Mahomes down after the Chiefs offense got off to a really, really hot start and took that big lead in that AFC Championship game was getting pressure and getting sacks on Mahomes and also creating turnovers. And if the Bengals want a chance to win this game versus the Rams, that is what they are going to have to do versus this Rams offense. We know this Rams offense can pass for so many yards per game and all of that. Cooper Cup running these crazy routes where he just gets so wide open. And we know the connection he has with Matt Stafford. So the Bengals are going to have to get that pressure on Stafford and also somehow force him to throw those interceptions if they want a chance to win this game. Stafford was throwing a ton of interceptions towards the end of the regular season. He just was really on this interception, you know, throwing streak. And I was really concerned. I was like, why is he throwing all these interceptions all of a sudden? This is a really bad time to start throwing all these interceptions when you're heading into the postseason. But once the postseason started, Stafford was not throwing any interceptions until the NFC Championship game. In the NFC Championship game, he threw his first interception of the postseason. I was really impressed that he was able to, you know, not throw an interception till that game. He had one in that game. It probably should have been two because Tart uh, dropped what would have been a pretty easy interception. But I think a key thing to watch in this game is the Stafford go down that path of being kind of careless with the ball and turning it over like he was towards the end of the season where it just seemed to snowball. Or is he going to be able to stop that and play the way he was earlier in this postseason, you know, not throwing those interceptions? That's going to be really, really big in this game. Is Stafford going to be careless with the ball or is he going to be able to protect it? Because if, he's a, because if Stafford is able to protect the ball, it's going to be super, super tough for the Bengals to get the win. A concern I do have with the Rams, though, is how they finish games. They almost blew that huge, huge lead versus the Buccaneers. And yes, Joe Burrow is not Tom Brady. But to see a team get so, I guess, complacent and then just make so many mistakes, like turning the ball over so many times in that second half, makes me nervous, especially when the Bengals just made a huge comeback on the road versus the Chiefs to win the AFC Championship game. That's a big concern I have with the Rams. It just shows that there might be some flaws in this Rams team. Okay, so it's time for my predictions for this game. Let me get into my stat predictions first and then we'll get into my final score prediction and I'll let you guys know who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. All right, so let's start with these stats predictions. So my first prediction is I believe Jamar Chase will have over 150 total yards and one touchdown in this game. My next prediction is I believe Joe Burrow will get sacked six times in this game. My next prediction is, I think the Bengals pick off Matt Stafford two times in this game. My next prediction is, Odell Beckham Jr. will have two touchdowns in this game. My next prediction is, Cooper Cup will have over 100 receiving yards. And my final prediction is, both these quarterbacks, Matt Stafford and Joe Burrow, will each throw for over 275 yards. All right, here we go. It's time for my final score prediction. Let me get a drum roll, please. Okay, thank you. So now we're going to find out who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. 
So I picked the Bengals to root for at the beginning of this postseason. That was like my team I was going to be rooting for this postseason. I have picked them to win every game so far this postseason in my weekly, you know, picks. And they have kept winning. So I feel like it's too late for me to stop picking them. I feel like I got to keep riding with the Bengals and Joe Burr. So that's what I'm going to do, baby. I got to go with the Bengals. Got to put on the Joe Burr shades, baby, because we're going with the Bengals to beat the Rams in the Super Bowl and pull off that huge upset. Oh, my gosh, Joe Burr. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. It's too cold. Burr, 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 burr. All right, do you want the final score prediction? Do you want the final score prediction? Okay, here we go. I think it's going to be a really close game. I think the final score is going to be 27-24 Bengals. That's the final score I got. I think Joe Burrow will win MVP, Joe Burr. He's going to have over 300 passing yards, in my opinion, and three passing touchdowns. But honestly, I'm happy for whoever wins this game. I think, I think you're going to be happy for whoever wins this game. I think people are going to be like, oh, what a nice story for whoever wins this game, which is awesome. You, you love that. Uh, I'm a huge Odell fan because I'm a Giants fan. He was my favorite player. I literally cried when I met him for the first time. It was really embarrassing. I was in like 10th grade and I just started crying. Really embarrassing, but he was so sweet. So I'd be so happy if Odell got a ring. It would be awesome. Be so happy if Matt Stafford got a ring. Guy definitely deserves it. And yeah, it would be really cool if the Rams made all those moves, made all those trades and ended up winning a Super Bowl in their home stadium in SoFi, like which is a sick stadium. So yeah, I- I'm so excited for the Super Bowl. I'm going to be happy for whoever wins. Good vibes all around. And that is it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below who you have winning the Super Bowl and what your final score prediction is. All right, guys, if you want to hit that like button, it really does help out the channel. If you want to subscribe, if you're new here, that'd be cool too. All right, guys, peace.